So you're using OBS Studio, but you're having performance issues while recording, or your videos are very laggy. When you try to fix the lag problems in the settings, you don't know what to do, and you don't know what the best settings are. Well, in this video, I will be showing you the best settings for you, so you can enjoy recording with no lag and have HD quality videos. So the first thing that you want to do is open OBS as an administrator. Simply do this by right-clicking on OBS Studio, and over here you can see Run as Administrator. Click that, press Yes. Running OBS as an administrator allows the software to use as much of your CPU and GPU as it needs. Now, the second thing you want to do is set OBS to high performance in graphic settings. First, you want to go to search, search up graphic settings, press this, and it should look a little something like this. Set this to desktop app, go to browse and look for OBS 64. Click on OBS 64 and press add. Now, if you can't find OBS 64 there, all you have to do is right click on OBS and go to open file location. And you should find that OBS is in this location. I have mine in my C drive, program files, OBS studio, bin and 64 bit. And I'll find OBS 64 here. Now that you've added OBS 64 or OBS studio, you wanna click on it, go to options, and set it to high performance press save the next step is go to obs settings first thing you want to do is obviously open obs as an administrator like i said and then you want to go to settings go to the video tab and in this tab you want to set base resolution and output resolution to 1080p or 720p if you're experiencing performance issues at 1080p set it to 720p if you're still experiencing performance issues at 720p set it to a lower resolution like 480p in fps value set it to 60 or 30. fps or frames per second determines how smooth the video is the higher the smoother here's a video taken at 60 frames per second and a video taken at 24 frames per second 60 frames per second is recommended but if you're experiencing performance issues at 60 frames per second lower it to 30. it is not recommended to go lower than 30 as it will be very choppy the next thing you want to do is go to output here you want to set output mode to advanced go to recording scroll down and find recording format you want to set this to .mp4 or .mkv next you want to set the video encoder to x264 or your graphics card if you have one for example i have a graphics card so this is my graphics card here and i will choose this but if you do not have one choose x264 as this is just your cpu you want to turn off rescale output and automatic file splitting next you go to encoder settings for x264 set rate control to crf set the crf to a number between 16 to 25 a good middle point would be 20. now of course the higher the number the less performance issues but less quality so for example 20 is a good middle point that's not too much lag but not the best quality as well if you're still experiencing issues at 20 go to 21 if you still are go to 22 but if you were not experiencing issues at 20 and you want better quality go to 19 and lower but do not go lower than 16 and do not go over 25 it is not recommended next you want to set the cpu usage preset to very fast the faster the less performance issues but less quality any setting slower than fast is not recommended if you're still experiencing issues at very fast go to super fast go to and then go to ultra fast if you're still experiencing issues at super fast if you're not experiencing Experiencing any issues with very fast go to faster if you're still not go to fast but that's about it do not go lower than that again the faster the less performance issues but less quality as well so that's about it for x264 let's go to our graphics card mine is this one go to encoder settings at rate control set this to cqp at cq level set this to a number between 16 to 25 20 is a good middle point the higher the number the less performance issues but less quality any number over 25 and below 16 is not recommended if you're still experiencing issues at 20 go to 21 if you still are go to 22 but if you were not experiencing issues at tonight at 20 i recommend you go to 19 and then go 18 if you're not experiencing issues at 20 but do not go below 16 and do not go over 25 it is not recommended next you want to set preset to balance if you're still experiencing the performance issues set it to speed if you want better quality set it to quality and that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope this helped you with your recording and performance if you enjoyed the video then consider liking and subscribing it'll help me out a lot if you have any issues comment down below and i'll try to help you as much as i can thank you goodbye